Hey there everyone, it's Joe from Bullion Now. BullionNow.com.au selling you the best bullion bars and coins shipped to you worldwide from Melbourne in Australia. This is another Precious Metals Price Analysis where we take a look at the big four, gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. Head over to youtube.com slash bullion now. Now over 12,000 subscribers. Thank you very much to all the newcomers who have come on board in the last, well, day, week, month, etc and hit the big red subscribe button to join the family right here. If this is your first uh, video since hitting the big red subscribe button, well, welcome. Uh, you're getting a price analysis from me. Now, everything I say here is not financial advice. It's not um, the company's opinion, uh, Bullion Now's opinion. It's just my personal opinion that I happen to give. So uh, don't blame us <laughs> is, the basic, is the basic rule. So let's take a look at gold. We've been talking about it's gold on the monthly time frame, gold priced in US dollars currently hovering at $1,783. So on the monthly, we'll take a look at the daily. We're using the tradingview.com website. Last week and the week before, the last couple of videos I had been talking, we had been in this uh, trading range here uh, between about 1680 and the 1760 mark. I was saying in order for me to be confident that this double bottom right here was definitely the bottom in gold and probably in the other precious metals. If that's, you know, if gold is, then by de facto, the others are probably are too. I was suggesting we would want to break above the 1760 level, have a retest, and then trade in a range for a period of time uh, before heading up further for me to be confident that the low is in. We've since seen uh, a break above, which has been good on the last, what's in the last seven days? I think since my last video, it's been nearly two weeks since my last video. So we have seen lovely break up. Uh, above the 1760 level, all the way up to $1,800. Uh, and mm, before moving up to 1800, we had a retest right there on the daily time frame of that 1760 level. So a break above, previous resistance, a retest, and then a higher move. Looking positive uh, so far. So what's the next challenge? Right here would be looking at, be looking at 1850 to anywhere up to this trend line right here. So what I really want to see, as I said to you guys before, I want to see it move above, hold above, and then retest the this 1850 level right here. You can see it's a, a big level of support, one, two, and then it became a level uh, of resistance as well uh, right here. So 1850, I need to see it break above and then retest and hold that retest and that becomes support again, then I'd be I would be confident that we are breaking through or of course, if we just go, 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 and then we break through this trend line, then I wanna see a retest of the trend line and I'd be incredibly confident that the bottom is in. I'm gonna up it from 80% to 90% confident that the bottom is in for gold uh, in this um, in this market, 90% um, confident now. Again, not financial advice. And if I'm 90% confident with um, with gold, pretty much says I'm confident with the other ones because where gold goes, silver and the others tend to follow. It's not not a hard and fast rule, but let's just stick with gold for now. 90% confident the bottom is in uh, for gold at the, what, 1680 level. What's going to negate that, of course? Well, moving lower and then breaking below 1680 and my next level moving down, been talking about it for quite a while, is the 1550 level, 1555, 1550, would be the next big significant support level. I don't quite think we're gonna get there now. So 90% confident that we're not moving lower. So that is gold. Let's take a look at silver. I'm really excited to show you, uh, plat uh, not platinum, palladium, but we'll get there as the last one. We always leave the best till last. Uh, where are we? Silver right here. Similar situation. I've been talking about, uh, is this possibly the low move, the 2670, the 23, sorry, 2370 level. Is that the low? I said what I would need to see, what I would like to see, is a move above the $26 level and a retest and then a support level of breaking no further down than 26. So far we have seen in the last week, in the last couple of weeks, we've seen a break above 26 right here, all the way up to 2660. 
and a retest. You can see that on the daily. Let's take that into the four hour. Yeah, a clear retest of that 26-ish level. The question remains now is will it remain support and will we snake higher for, for a little bit? Will we um, range in between say $26 and this 2720 mark? Quite possibly for a little bit of time. What I said last time and the time before is I do need to see it break above this 2720 level in US dollars, 2720 break above, have a retest, and then um, find it as support. So are we out of the woods? I'm going to say with gold, we're looking confident. So I'm going to say for the moment, I'm, I'm going to say stick with 80%. I'll stick with 80% sure that the bottom is in with silver, but um, definitely not out of the woods. What would negate that? Obviously breaking below uh, 2370 and the next level I was looking here at 2120, but I thought that was going to be a little bit too close to these ones. So the next level down for me is that that $19.70 level if we were to break down uh, further uh, from here, if we're not moving up, but looking more confident than not confident in the silver market based on this little move up here. But again, anything could happen. Uh, you never know. Uh, so that is silver in USD. Let's take a look at XPT4 Platinum Platinum, I, this is a line I drew in earlier uh, right here, just drew this in just before, you're looking at a symmetrical triangle pattern playing out looking quite possible for a breakout, but we do need to see it break out of course, and if we do see it break out um, above this trend line what will tend to happen, not every single time, but what tends to happen is you break out above a downtrend line and then you have a retest of it at some point. So I'm looking, I would want to see the platinum not fall below 1190. If it did fall below 1190, I'd say we're going to probably come back for another test of this uptrend line right here. Um, but let's see where that goes. Let's see what happens. So for the moment, confident that platinum is looking pretty good, again, because gold is because silver is i would say platinum is looking pretty good at the moment we just want to see it hold 1190 and we want to see it break above here and then you want to see that healthy retest of this downtrend line and then we will talk about later on where we are moving in the next weeks and months ahead platinum's looking very good um, for the fundamentals and again if we do a search where is it this platinum one if you go to our channel Watch this one right here, Platinum Perth Mint 21 Kangaroo. We have a look at this 2021 Platinum Kangaroo coin, but in this video, um, Michael talks about the fundamentals of Platinum at the moment, uh, where he thinks it might be heading, etc. It's looking quite positive, so I'll put a link above now to that video. Uh, that Look, negating it, uh, I've got all these lines drawn in here. The next significant uh, support level would be at $1,050 if we are moving lower than here. If we're moving higher, uh, which I think we will uh, eventually, um, you can pause this video if you like, and you can find these horizontal blue lines, and then they are my next levels of resistance moving higher. I'm actually going to get rid of that one right now. Why? Because it's so close to that one. So I'll get rid of that. That's not a resistance point for me anymore. I would suggest this one here at 1530 and this one here at 1730 uh, in uh, American dollars and US dollars would be the next key levels of resistance. So that's platinum and palladium. What have I been saying? I've been saying, look, other people I'm sure have been saying it too. So it's not a, a massive, you know, whoa, not a massive win. But I had been saying, uh, in the last couple of analyses, and this is going back two, three weeks. So let's say about three weeks ago, I said I think we would see a new all-time high in palladium within the next eight weeks. So that was three weeks ago, I said within the next eight weeks. So it's been about three weeks, and this was when the price was still, uh, it had just broken out above this uh, ranging this range here, price, this ranging this price range right here, it had just broken out. So I was just, it's pretty obvious to everyone. I think it's not, you know, it's not uh, uh, amazingly, oh my God, technical analysis. It was looking pretty positive and I'm sure you saw it too, but we saw this retest and we have seen technically an all time high. So if we take a look right here, we'll go into the auto, 
right here we had a high of 28.75 and that is on the 24th of February uh, last year, 24th of Feb last year and it's taken this whole year to get all the way back up but we have seen this week uh, we're a high of 28.90 so technically an all-time high was hit at least on this particular chart this particular market um, in US dollars an all-time high has been hit so congratulations to everyone if you bought palladium um, it's sometime in the last year after February um, then well done you, you've done really well so congratulations um, let's take a quick look at where we could move up to from here do a bit quick bit of blue sky thinking and I had been talking about these levels let's take a look at the Fibonacci I think now look we, we take this high of 1108 the low of $145 roughly and we had a key Fibonacci level the 4.236 at 4228 let's call it 4200 4300 roughly I was suggesting that that's very close that that is very close to a psychological you know even number of 4000 I was suggesting last time that 4000 may be a significant level of resistance uh, I'm not so sure anymore um, I'm not I think it may be a possible level of resistance but now I think it's so close to this um, Fibonacci level here that I'm going to get rid of it and I think it's not going to be a huge level like this big red candle right here we take a look at this one this is where we had the all-time high and we moved 50 percent 48 percent 50 percent uh, lower uh, within uh, you know only a what only a, a couple of months after breaking that previous all-time high um, after breaking that and making an all-time high I should say I don't think we're going to see a huge move up to 4,000 and then that kind of very large move back down I think it needs to move higher and so it's going to be for me somewhere between now 4300 and the psychological value of 5000 I think the 5000 mark is much more of a psychological value than the 4000 even though they're both even numbers it's halfway to 10,000 10,000 is a huge psychological value uh, for people but 5000 is pretty big too so I've adjusted my target so it's going to be for me personally somewhere in between that range where can I put the thing let's do that right there somewhere ah, go away there we go somewhere in here is going to be my target for palladium moving higher the next big move before we see a large retracement and you know a, of a say a, between a 30 to 50 percent move let's say that's we hit it there then we have a big move back down to maybe the previous all-time high right here of that 28 level um, that's a 40 percent move okay so somewhere I think between the forty three hundred and five thousand dollar mark I know that's a huge gap that seven hundred dollar gap but when you get into higher prices like this the gaps become larger if that that makes sense so round about your five thousand I think is going to be your psychological resistance let's see what happens but blue skies are looking fantastic I think for palladium personally and uh, that's it for this week's analysis so head over to bullionnow.com.au check out of course our latest YouTube videos hit the big red subscribe button to do so all our informative content check out our playlists as well so particularly our how to invest in gold series this is welcome again to all the people who have just subscribed to our series check out this series the how to invest in gold series playlist and share it with your friends and family anyone you think might be interested in or should be getting into precious metals also check out our unallocated program for those who are in Australia uh, and international I, th I think we do unall unallocated for international clients too it's a very good program and uh, of course our other awesome playlists all right like share subscribe all that good stuff take care and we'll see you soon